Hello and welcome back to the CSHL. This is now week number four and I'm going to give you a quick recap here. So Crash is represented by the Royals and here are the players that he selected. We got Finn, the Finn for the win, represented by, guess what, the Finns and those are the players he selected. We got Newfie Bullet represented by the Newfoundland Tigers. His team is drafted right there. We got Phil, the Thrill, represented by the Toronto Tomahawks and there is his team Yours truly, represented by the Washington Whales. That's who I picked. The Detroit Dragons are representing Tactics HD. And he got to pick from the Lightning and Toronto. Insane. X-Tech represented by the Vancouver Lumberjacks. Those are his picks. And finally, Tugi, represented by the Boston Bulldogs. That is his team. Here's a look at the standings heading into week number four. We got two teams that are undefeated and two teams that are looking for their first win. The Bulldogs and the Lumberjacks both looking to pull away from each other in the standings here as they both sit at one and one right now. So which team will move up and which team will not? Let's find out right now. Bjorkstrand goes for a pass across that will be off the post though, but a great chance early on for the Bulldogs. The Vancouver Lumberjacks coming back the other way. Nico, an individual effort here. Absolutely legendary. But he can't score. And he gets another chance and wires it wide of the net. This guy just can't catch a break right now. But the effort is certainly there. A tremendous attack from the Lumberjacks. But not able to score. Felino with it in the slot. Takes a shot on net. But Robin Leonard will save that one. Back in the Bulldog zone here. A great shot. Merzlikin's going to catch that one with the glove. Lumberjacks back on the attack once more. To Subban in the slot. That one is going to hit the post. We've had several close calls so far in this first period. But we have not seen a goal just yet. Another great chance. But Merzlikens will save that one as well. That was it for the first period. Now hopping into period number two. Jack Eichel going to get absolutely rocked by Elvis Merzlikens. As he tried to crash the net there. So yeah, that was fun to watch kind of. And he... Was flopping like a fish out of water trying to get up to, which is kind of weird. But anyways, a big hit there. And that will send Voracek on a breakaway. He's in all alone. Forehand, backhand, but a great save from Leonard on the breakaway. Still 0-0 here over the halfway point of this game. Felino going to steal the puck, have a breakaway of his own. He will try shooting that glove side, but Leonard will make another save. Late in the second period, a shot from Bergeron at the point. But that will be... Blocker to side. We will head into period number three with a score of 0-0. McAvoy walking in from the point. Takes a shot. And Merzlikin's going to make a couple saves there. Great effort from the goaltenders. Kopitar picks off the puck in the middle of the ice. He will pick it back up and he will send it home. Just over the blocker of Robin Leonard to get the first goal of the game. That is 1-0 for the Bulldogs with 10 minutes remaining here in the third period. Hughes steals the puck, passes it down low to Pujarvi, who gets a great chance, but Merzlikens once again going to make an amazing save on the doorstep. Now Subban, we saw him shoot there earlier, has another chance there. That will be blocked, and we have a 1-0 victory for the Bulldogs. What a close game this one was. Both goaltenders played fantastic in this one. Elvis Merzlikens and Robin Leonard both stood on their heads. And the final score was 1-0 after that goal from Kopitar. A very, very close one. But the Bulldogs will advance to 2-1. And, and the Lumberjacks will fall to 1-2. A battle of the undefeated teams here. The Wales, the Royals, both 2-0. Only one team will remain undefeated after this week in the entire league slash tournament thing. I'm still not really sure what to call it. But anyway, Jimmy Superstar taking an interference call early on in the first here, which sends the Wales to a power play. And on the ensuing power play, Ehlers passes it over to Couture, who passes it to Larkin. A weak shot, but Couture crashes the net, will get the rebound, and put the Wales up one to nothing here in the first period. Back on the attack now is Timo Meyer, who rips a shot low, but Grubauer will save that with the pad. Shabbat gets a pass in front of his own net. He decides he's going to skate with it. Goes all the way up the ice. Cuts into the middle. Rips a shot. Blocker side. And what an individual effort from Thomas Shabbat to make this game tied once more. 1-1 one one 
in the first period here. Hurdle walks in. Great save by Grubauer. They remain on the attack, though. Hurdle has it behind the net. Passes it in front, and they just missed the net. That could have easily been 2-1, but a big net miss there. Hurdle, once again, putting on some moves. Walks in, but is saved once more. Brown across the ice. A great save there on Drake Batherson to keep this game 1-1, heading in to the second period. Now in the second period, we have the Royals on the attack here. A great keep in from Kachuk. Passes it down low to Rantanen who fires a shot, but that will be saved as well. Batherson over to Brown. Another great save on the doorstep there. Both goalies are playing very well so far in this one, about halfway through. The Whale's back on the attack. Verona lets go a weird looking backhand and it did spook Grubauer a little bit there as he tried to make a dramatic save, but either way, they still didn't score. Now, Letty would get hit hard here, and he would head to the locker room, and that was the last that we would see of him in this one. Larkin also going to get dropped there as he goes to take a shot, and that will do it for the second period. It is still 1-1 one one heading into period number three. Kyle Connor steals the puck, comes in all alone, gets a great chance there, but he is denied. So is Barzal Grubauer going to glove that one. The Royals running into some penalty trouble here. A 5-on-3 for the Whales, but they are not able to capitalize on it. Late here in the first period. Final minute, Kachuk going to steal the puck in front of the net, and he will put the Royals up 2-1 to one in the final minute here. The Whales tried their best, but were not able to get a goal. An empty netter there for Rantanen to make it 3-1, to one, and the Royals are the only undefeated team left here in the CSHL. Grubauer really stealing the show with a 29 save performance and a 967 save percentage. What an absolute mad lad. Thomas Shabbat also with that crazy end-to-end -end goal. Good performance from the Royals. They deserve the 3-0. Let's hop on board here with the Dragons and the Tigers. Now the Tigers are still looking for their first win in this tournament. And the Detroit Dragons are looking to advance to a record of 2-1. Early on here, Vasilevsky making his presence known with a few saves. Crew going to just miss it on that one. Get it back at the point. Wire it. But that will be gloved by Vasilevsky yet again. Now Tavares has it and passes it up to Raquel, starting in their own zone. The Dragons come in. Raquel going to rip one glove side, and that will put the Dragons up 1-0 early on here in the first period. And again, back on the attack here. A pass in the middle to Getzlav that will be saved by Sergei Bobrovsky on the blocker side. Shen receives a leading pass here, gets by the D-man, goes backhand, and a spectacular save by Andre Vasilevsky there to keep his team up by one. Stamkos wins a battle behind the net, passes it back to the point. This will find its way to Debrinkat, who goes to the middle of the ice. No one is defending it for some reason. No idea what that's all about. But anyway, he has a clear path to the net, picks up his own rebound, and that will do it for the first period. It is two to nothing for the Dragons, heading in to period number two. Shen has it here early in the second, passes to Reinhardt, who's going to fire one on net, but Vasilevsky catching that one in the glove. Fowler takes a point shot after a Detroit Dragons face-off win, but Bobrovsky will get a blocker on that, and luckily the defense were there for the rebound. Raquel shaken up here. He does get hit and is slow to get up. He also is holding his face on the way to the bench, but he would stay in the game, and he seemed to be all right. That was it for period number two. It is still two to nothing for the Detroit Dragons. The Tigers on the power play here. A double toe drag. And another glove save from Vasilevsky to keep his team up by two. Debrinkat with another chance here. And once again, the rebound would be controlled by the Tigers' defense. And speaking of the Tigers' defense, a point shot from Krug off of a face-off win will cut the lead in half and make it 2-1. to one. Slavin walking in has a good chance. And Kessel with a great chance here on the spin around, but he will miss the net. Dying seconds of this one. Net empty. Marty not able to get the shot off in front of the net. And that will do it. The Detroit Dragons managed to walk away with a 2-1 victory, and that will also advance their record to 2-1. Vasilevsky obviously stealing the show there, getting a 952 save percentage. And yeah, it was just a great performance from the Dragons all around.
Let's check out the Tomahawks and the Finns, who are currently at 1-1. One one. The Tomahawks at 0-2. Oh they are looking for their first win here of their CSHL appearance. And they are putting on a pretty strong performance here early in the first. A pass to Petrie, who walks in, and he will be denied. Radulov goes for a tremendous cross-ice pass. Shesterkin going to make another great save there. A little kerfuffle at the point. A pass will be made to Horvat, who comes in all alone on a breakaway, goes for a shot on the blocker side, and once again, the save is made. Another great chance here for the Tomahawks, but they are not able to capitalize. Carey Price making a spectacular glove save off of a shot in the slot there. The Tomahawks keep up the great pressure, but they are still not able to break the ice. And that is how the first period will end. It will be 0-0 heading in to the second. Now in the second, the Finns have a chance in the middle there that will be shot on Carey Price, but he's going to save it, but he will not save that one. Kuznetsov picks up a rebound on the doorstep. He will get the Finns up 1-0 here in the second period. Let's see if they're able to keep it that way, especially considering the Tomahawks are putting up some tremendous pressure here. They are getting chance after chance, but Shesterkin is keeping the door shut. Couturier walks in. He has a chance there, but Carey Price... Will stop him on that partial break. Pass in the middle to Pavelski. He's going to take a high shot there. It will go off of the cage of Shesterkin. And crashing the net is Philip Forsberg. Making it 1-1 one to -one heading into period number 3. A draw win here for the Finns early on. And a tremendous passing play. Look at this. Absolutely picturesque. He's going to send it home finally to make it 2-1 to -one for the Finns there. That's got to be one of the best goals of the tournament so far, or the league, whatever you want to call it. Either way, absolutely filthy, tremendous passing. And another one-timer from Johnny Goudreau this time. Same location as the last goal. That will make it 3-1 to one for the Finns. The Tomahawks are in trouble here. 7.30 to go. Ovechkin walking in, rips a shot. Carey Price does not want to see Ovi in that spot ever again. But he does make the save that time. An awful choice to pull the goaltender there from the Tomahawks. Not sure what they were thinking. But Lindholm going to bury a empty netter there practically as the goaltender was not in position whatsoever. The Tomahawks are generating quite the attack here in the final minute. They are not giving up just yet. A goal will be scored by Granlund to cut the lead down to two. An awful shot from the point there will go way over the net. But Petrie will pick it up again. Wire another one and make it 4-3, but it is too little, too late. The Finns walk away with a 4-3 victory, and they will advance to 2-1, where the Tomahawks now fall to 0-3. This one was a bit of a goal explosion. 4-3 in favor of the Finns. 37 shots for Toronto and only 30 shots for the Finns. Looking at the updated standings now, we still have two teams that are searching for their first win. The Tigers and the Tomahawks both lost again this week, falling to 0-3. The Royals are now the only undefeated team at 3-0 as the Washington Whales fall to 2-1 against them. And we have the middle of the pack there with the Bulldogs, the Finns, the Dragons, also all at 2-1. The Lumberjacks, the only team currently sitting at 1-2. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, if you could like, that'd be great. Um, and yeah, that's about it. If, if you subscribe, that's even better. You know, just saying. I'm honestly just spitballing here, just throwing stuff out there. But yeah, um, see you later.